looking at you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Mooney, for those of you who don't know. Welcome to my channel. Whoever is coming back, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a video of a review of Aztec Clay face mask. So let me just tell y'all that I used, I didn't use this mask recently. I used it like probably two years ago. Um, here's a picture. I use water to mix with the mask. You can either use water or apple cider vinegar, I believe, but I, I use water. Um, and I put the mask on my face. I'm gonna tell y'all how it treated my skin, okay? I'm gonna let y'all know today, everything, I'm gonna let y'all know, I'm gonna let y'all know. So, I have first used this mask January of 2018. Um, I used the mask, I put it on at night. I was at a friend's house, so we all used the mask. I put it on at night. I woke up in the morning, mind you, before I put on this mask, my face was already breaking out, hence why I used the mask. So after I put the mask on, I moisturized my face, whatever, let it do its work overnight so I woke up in the morning and my face was like very 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 dry very dry it was like my skin was peeling I mean besides like the breakouts that I already had on like my forehead area and like the marks it was dry like even when I had put on the mask you can see like the areas where I was breaking out is where it was like darker than the rest of the mask so my face was very dry I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought it would like peel off and the rest of the um the scabs that I had on my face would peel off and then I'll be good. But no, that wasn't the case. So I noticed my skin was dry, I ignored it, whatever. Then after like a couple of days it got worse. It got really worse. Like my skin, it started to like get dark around some areas. Like my chin area got dark, dark as hell my like it was just a dark strip right here um my forehead area was dark as well but it was like my skin was it was very like sketchy and just nasty so it started to affect my cheek areas i got like little breakouts on my face little hives yeah it was bad so after a while i was like i don't know i didn't know what to really use because i didn't want to use any other artificial products in my face to make it worse so i looked up some other things that i can do to help with my breakouts or whatever the problem was because I don't know what happened but I looked up some other things to use and uh, I think it was turmeric it gave me some turmeric mask that I can um, make at home and I didn't I didn't want to use that because turmeric for me um, I thought it would be like too strong on my skin being that it was already like it started to get very sensitive and it was like a burning feeling when I use like my um, daily products, like my Aveeno face soap that I used to use and not my black soap. That actually kind of helped soothe my skin. But it showed me turmeric mask. I didn't want to use that. So I had saw another one. It said um, to mix honey and lemon and make it into a paste and apply it to your face, whatever, whatever. So I tried to use that because I knew that lemon, it will help with the dark areas and honey is to soothe your skin. And that's kind of what I needed because my face is my face was dark around certain areas and it was rough and dry and peeling so I was like all right I'm gonna try this and if this doesn't work I'm just gonna try something else or either like go to the doctor I don't know so I tried the honey and lemon mask and the first time I used it I didn't really notice like a difference but like the, after like the second or third time or fourth time I used it I noticed somewhat of a difference so what I did was I had mixed honey um, and lemon juice not lemon juice from the bottle from my, my actual lemon I squeezed it into a little container I mixed it and I used a makeup brush to apply it to my face so that's what I did I did this I think every morning and every night every day so when I came out the shower I would put it on my face wipe it off and then put on moisturizer my shea butter or my whatever I used at the time and then before I went to bed, after I washed my face um, from taking a shower, I would apply it on my face again, rinse it off, and put on shea butter at night. So that's what I did for a while, and I saw differences in my skin after using this um, honey and lemon paste. So my face, it was still breaking out like all of January, mid-February, but it was getting better as the months went by. So in... Uh, 
April. When I really started to see it was working. There was differences in my skin. Um, but it didn't quite really like go away yet. Like it, I felt like it left permanent scars on my face. But not too not too permanent but it still was like i could still see like underneath the surface it wasn't anything that i can do physically that would that would help the um the scars so i still use the mask um i think i use other things during um, the month I, I think i used a uh, mask from shea moisture right here um and i used like little things throughout the way to help me so it wasn't just only the honey and lemon paste but the honey and lemon paste did work the best so yeah, April, I think that's when I saw that my skin was getting better. I had to be consistent with the everything that I was using on my face to help it get better. Like, it was bad. I had to use the honey and lemon paste, like I said, every day, morning and night. I think I used the turmeric like for my chin area. Um, I, It was not helping. The honey and lemon paste was not helping with my chin area at all. My chin was still dark. Like, it was really bad. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to try the turmeric because maybe I do need something strong to help fade the dark, whatever that was. So I think I used the turmeric about one or two times, probably more than that. But I know it did take a while for the dark area on my chin to fade away completely. But yeah, I used that for my dark chin. But it was really bad, y'all. So I would say the ending of April. April 23rd or 26th, my skin finally got back to normal. And this is how it looked afterwards. This is in the sunlight, but I'm gonna show y'all without sun how it looked. My face was still um, clear, but it looks extra clear because of the sun. But this is how it looks without sun. Like, it was still clear. And yeah. It took, how much months is that? January, February, March, April. So, four months. This mask took up a whole four months of my freaking life to get my skin back on track. My skin was already breaking out before this. And for me, at least, I don't know about other people. I don't know how it affected other people. It could have been good for their skin it could have been worse for their skin but for me it's a no it's a no would i recommend no i would not recommend but to each his own if you want to try it out try it out some people say it helps their skin tremendously um some people tried the apple cider vinegar mixture i never i didn't do that i used the water like i said but i don't know what difference the apple cider vinegar might make so i don't know if you want to try it out you can try it out but from my own experience i would never ever use it again ever ever so yes that's what happened to my skin it was bad but yeah this was my own experience with that product that face mask i would not recommend it to anybody this was my testimony to this product that i had used the aztec clay face mask um i think it's very particular in terms of like how to use it what to use with it um i think i sh i was supposed to use i don't think water was the best thing to use to mix it in maybe it was supposed to be apple cider vinegar but i didn't use that and that's probably why but i'm not sure and i'm not really gonna try it again so i would never know but yes i would not recommend this product i would not try it again but what i do hold on i'm gonna show y'all what i use now for my face Yes, so what I use now, um, uh, I think this was last year, September, August, September, I had bought a four pack face mask, Kills face mask. It's a mini face mask that comes in a pack of four. They each have different, they're all used for different purposes. So I don't, I only have three here right now because I used one of my other ones that I had. I think that one was a hydration mask. It worked really, 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 really good. My skin is already, is already oily, but when I had used that mask, my skin was glowing like all day, like throughout the whole day. Like usually when you wake up in the morning, you moisturize your face, it shines, whatever, maybe for like a good two or three hours. But when I was using that junk, I had been glowing all day, especially in the summertime. But yeah. So we have here, one is a ginger leaf and hibiscus firming mask. This one is an overnight mask. Um, 
Yeah, I was right. This one is an over my overnight mask. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really good. Um, I remember using this one time along with this. I've honestly, I don't know where I got this from. This is it. It, it only says skin food, but it is some good skin food because I don't know what's inside. There's no ingredients, nothing, but yeah. I had to use this with this one time combined together. My face was breaking out like right here and my cheeks. I put it on overnight and it was gone the next day. I promise you. So yeah, I would recommend this. I don't know where I got this from, but if you can find it, buy it. What I did was I put some of this on first to moisturize my skin and then I put the mask on top um, to stay on overnight and it feels really good too on my skin. It feels like a cooling, it gives like a cooling sensation but yeah. Another one that comes in the pack is a Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask with, I don't even know how to pronounce that so I'm not going to try it. White clay. Yeah, when you put on this mask, this is what it looks like. Yeah. When you put on this mask, you will notice that it'll like go beneath your pores. Not beneath your pores, but you'll be when the mask is on your face, you're, you're gonna be able to see your pores um, pop out more. I don't know if that's a part of the whole um, what do you call it? The whole purpose of it or procedure, but it says it's to intensify and in, what? Purify and minimize pores. So. If you have big pores, I guess, then this would be good um, to use. I would recommend that. Another one that we have here. This is the third one that it came with. Um, this one is a turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radius mask. This is the one that I had used more fre frequently. Besides the other hydration one, it was that one and this one that I had used a lot. This is what it looks like. And just because these bottles are small, these last a long time. And you're not supposed to use a lot of it at one time. I bought these in, like I said, August, and it's now February. So, and I still have more in each of them. I wasn't using them every day. I would use it probably like once or twice a week. And on the box, I don't have the box right now because I threw it away, but on the box, it would tell you how much um, to use each mask. Like, I think, the hydration one you could use it every day hence why it's done i use it every day but i think like either this one or this one or the overnight one is probably like it will say two times a week or once a week or whatever so yeah they all serve different purposes they're all very good i would recommend i got it from sephora i got the the set from sephora i think it was about thirty dollars I'm bugging. I don't know. Last thing that I use for my face, I've had this for my long. Um, I don't know how it's not done. Origins or regions, I don't know. This is a overnight mask to quench skin's thirst. And this works very good as well. This is more for like dry skin though. And like I said, I don't really have dry skin. I have oily skin. But sometimes when my face may break out or whatever the case is my face does get dry in some areas like maybe around my forehead or my chin and i will use it around those areas so yeah this is what i use if you have dry skin i would recommend this i think you can get this at sephora as well either sephora or target so this was my mini product review video on the aztec clay face mask plus some tips and products other products that you can use um that's pretty much it for today don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that good stuff thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video Whoa.